Yes, I'm Vishnu Das. Welcome to Rim Designing Studios. Today I will show you how to draw a 3D ring. How to start with a 3D ring. So, let's get started. To start with a 3D ring, you should have a ring, a real ring or any object which is completely circled. I had my own ring. I am holding my own ring. And uh, now I will see. I will show you. There you could see a outside cog. This is an outside cog of a ring, and it's also known as ID. We will simply say it as circle. It's it is a circle. We have to follow the circle to complete a to start with a 3D ring. A 3D ring is always depend on its circle, on its ID. So now. I will show you how to start with it. If I want to draw this ring, if I want to draw this ring or if any ring in this position, then I have to place this ring and I will have to watch the ID first, how the ID looks from the top. Now it's completely tilted, so it's looking oval. It's round, but when it's tilted, it gets oval. So now we have to draw the oval completely like that, and then we can start with that ring first we have to draw the oval which we could also say as base curve so now I have a rough concept which my daddy had suggested it so I will I will try to do this ring uh, but I have to choose a position for it so for that I will take this ring uh, if I want to draw this ring uh, in this view so I will have to follow the oval, I have to follow the ID, how it had became after tilted. So I will draw this curve. I had drawn this oval completely. Now just as supporting curve I will draw as whatever the design would be. It will be like uh, this big. So I just assumed it and I just draw a supporting curve right beside it. Uh, now I can just start with the design so I'm just wearing my ring and uh, now I'll show you how to uh, draw it uh, you can see this design you won't understand what the design is but uh, I will draw it and I will show you how it's how is it so let's start with it it's a very nice idea suggested by my dad so I just thought it would be a good demonstration for everyone you could see this is a line of buckets and both sides you could see uh, two perpendicular lines or plate prongs one more plate prong line and other This side also the same. I will imagine that this side only one curve will be there because we can't see the other side of the design when it's tilted. Your imagination should be very powerful while drawing a 3D ring. That's the most important thing people lack while drawing a 3D ring. So their rings are just not as perfect as the wish. As you could see the design has been completed and now Oh, now you can understand what I had tried to draw. Uh, this is a thickness line so that you can decide the height of the wing. And there's the complete shank. This is a ring which I had shown, and you can draw many more rings and different styles, different shapes by following the simple step so the main thing in this ring was the oval you have to first 
draw the oval yeah you if you draw the oval correctly if you draw the oval perfectly then your ring also will be perfectly and dimensioned it will be in 3d dimension so now it's complete and i will just give it a touch of watercolor i have i'll just give i'll just color it you just color it give it a touch and the color blue it's it's a bit valid and that's not the problem it's rough so i'm not giving it a good finishing and you could see that this is not a final design so you have to start it with this if you practice more then you will get more perfect in this you could see that this is a bucket and this is a channel line designers will understood what i am trying to explain these are bogus, these are split prongs and this is a beautiful ring. Uh, um, I would say it's a beautiful ring. So thanks for watching. Hope, hope my advice will be useful for you guys. If you guys had practice after watching this video, then you just show me you just uh, you can upload on my wall. And don't forget to subscribe to Dream Designing Studios. Thank you, thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Bye.